what the retailers would really love the government for be, to be addressing is rather than trying some kind of clumsy 1970s um, era uh, price charges, would be doing something about the red tape that the industry has just been swimming in since Brexit. And I think that is one area where they would like to see government intervention. You know, just everything like things like, you know, the labeling requirements on products, which have just exploded since Brexit. And it wasn't even that long ago that Archie Norman, the current chairman of MS, was writing an open letter pleading to the government to help them remove the petty fogging bureaucracy of the post Brexit consumer uh, uh, grocery landscape. So I think, you know, there are areas where the government could help, but this I don't think is an area they should be sticking their nose in, to be honest. Deirdre, can I congratulate you for getting the word pettifogging onto the show, which I think mm. might be a first, uh, but very strategically, <laughs> de- <laughs> strategically deployed. And we thank you uh, for your analysis and giving us a briefing on what exactly those proposals entail and, and how they're going down with retailers. That's Deirdre Hipwell there, who leads our team of consumer and healthcare reporters here in London.